right, guys. Or right, well, welcome back, citizens, to more Mohawk Gaming. Yeah. This is uh, still fucking dead space. Waiting for them to stop blabbering at me so I can actually use this save. Mm. I just want to save. From the planet crack. Bitch, stop talking about that butthole. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna start working on it. You know just because my ass be big don't, don't mean it's a planet. I'm gonna be working on that butthole. I think we grabbed maybe three words from what they were actually saying for that. No, no. So, I heard planet crack and just ran with it. I went to uh, the mall earlier. Mm -hmm. I know, gross. Yeah. To get my oil changed. Did you go Sears. to the mall today? Today. <laughs> I did. Nice. Today. I expect you to say it like that to me the next time that happens. Okay. Okay. Um, so while I was there, we were wandering around and we went to FYE and we were wandering around in there for a bit. And then mm -hmm. I kind of looked down at myself and I'm like, huh. Most of what I'm wearing right now, I actually bought at FYE. <laughs> oh, yeah. My shirt is on that table over there. My hat is on that rack over there. And then I was really paranoid the rest of the time we were in there that one of the employees was going to come up and, like, accuse me of dressing myself in the back in their, like, clothes without buying them or something. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I was, I was, oh, my bitch is calling. What up, bitch? Booty call time? Where that dick sucking mouth be? I thought she was dead. What could possibly go wrong? I really want to see you fuck her as an alien. Yeah? Yeah, like that's the surprise ending to this game is like, you turn into an alien and just impregnate her. With more alien spawn, return yeah. to Earth, impregnate the world. Yes. So anyways, I mm -hmm. was I was super weirdly paranoid about that. What is some shit that you get weirdly paranoid about, my friend? Um, that my friend dresses, that my friends will dress like posers and hang out at the mall again like we're teenagers. So that's been realized today. <sighs> <laughs> no, Ashley, no! I was just kidding! No, we're done here. Ashley, no! <laughs> no, Sharon, I'm fine. This isn't sarcasm at all. Hey, you know what, though? I don't... One thing that I don't like to do, because I'm really paranoid about people judging me, uh -huh. is taking off my shirt in public, even mm -hmm. though I've been, like, skinny as shit my whole life. Yeah. It's just something I don't like to do. That's legit. Like, not even in front of my friends when I'm, like, changing, and, like, most of my friends have been, like, pretty much... I've seen almost, like, all my friends naked at some, in some way, shape, or form. If at the very least, like, most of my friends I've seen in their underwear. Fun fact, JD watched once watched me throw up off the balcony in my underwear. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? What was going on there? Um, mushrooms, my friend. Oh, yeah, that was back when we were little, we were little teenagers doing drugs and shit. Yeah, we were hoodlums, and we did a bunch of mushrooms, and then for some ungodly reason ate a ton of spicy, spicy, spicy ramen. <gasps> oh, yeah, and that's when we were sharing the glasses, yeah, right? Yeah, we that shared movie. my glasses watching a movie. Because I was blind, and I had broken my glasses and stuff. Yeah, that's a cute story. That is a cute but story. But yeah, the uh, mushrooms and the spicy ramen did not mix well. And one of our friends passed out in the bathroom, and so I had to throw up, so I was just, like, dangling over our balcony, oh, luckily. Yeah. It, was the, it was, like, maybe four or five in the morning, so no one was out. No. And I... JD was, like, sleeping on the couch, and then I hear the door, like, open as I'm vomiting, and he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. This is a real high moment for me. <laughs> yeah. I do remember <laughs> that. I was very tired, though, and very out of it because we were doing shrooms. Yeah. But to be fair, though, guys, like, these weren't just, like, dried out, like, you buy from people shrooms. Like, I had grown these specifically to, like, do with Ashley. Under his bed. Well, no, not... No, Ashley, come on. I no, like, they, they were, were they were like, legitimately, like... I mean, they were, like, in Tupperware, shrooms. carefully grown under your bed. <laughs> oh, my God. Didn't you keep them under your bed? No, no. serious talk, JD. I no, I didn't. Oh. I, I, I grew them in like a walk-in closet. And I had tu huge, huge tubs of stuff everywhere. And I was just growing them to make money in a college town. And that's as much information as I would like to give. Although, I mean, it was ten years ago. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Yeah. But still, like, I don't know. I just remember those specifically that I grew specifically for you because they curled and twisted like the hill from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, yeah. And I, like, Stop kept them all together. Stop fucking and, talking to me. And they were, they were live still. They were still alive. So, like, they were more 
potent than like people who would buy shrooms and stuff. Yeah. Usually get them. And to be fair, like shrooms are not that bad. Like I'm not advocating drug use or anything, but out of all the things you could do or that we could have done, you know? Yeah. Like we mostly did like shrooms and we smoked weed and we drank. And yeah. those are all plants. Yeah. Except for the shrooms, those are fungus, but whatever. What what I mean, can we talk about drugs some more? Do you what do you want to tell us the hardest drug you ever did? Like what you would consider the worst drug you ever did? Um, the worst drug is obviously ecstasy that I've ever done. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, that was back when I was, like, 16, you know, and we were, like, hanging out with Sketch and shit at the Raver Clubs, but that yeah. was because, th that was before we knew that sh that shit was, like, cut with, holy fuck no. That was before we knew that shit was, like, cut with, like, heroin and speed and crap like that, so. Yeah. Technically, I've done heroin. Technically. Yeah. Which is really shitty. I moved away from Austin... The first time to get away from all of that. Yeah. If you, I don't know if you remember that or not. Yeah. But I was like in a really bad place and I was doing a lot of drugs and I moved away, ironically, to Colleen and like Waco <laughs> and stuff. The, pff, way more drugs than Austin and, well, bad drugs, you know. In yeah. Austin, mostly everyone just smokes weed and that's it. What was it? Oh, yeah. So like I moved there and I just remember feeling like super itchy and I thought I had like body bugs or something. What are they called? Um, I don't, with an S. I don't know, but I know what you're talking about. Okay. Anyways, but like, I, I thought I had those, but the doctor was like, no, like you're like the dermatologist was like, no, scabies, you're fine. That's what it scabies. Was. Scabies. Yeah. He was like, no, you're fine. You don't have scabies or anything. Like you have a rash from like rubbing your skin, you know, like we think you should talk to this other doctor because we think it may be like a drug issue. How do you do, you do <laughs> drugs? And I was like, well, I quit doing ecstasy. And that's when they were like, yeah, that has shitload of heroin and other crap possibly in it. You're probably going through heroin withdrawals. And I was like... Just like some super mild withdrawals. Yeah, and I was just like, no! But they lasted like six months actually. Damn. Yeah, like I remember being in my mom's garage, like just being like, oh, just like smoking whatever I could, like weed, tobacco. Uh, I even smoked spice for a while there because there was no good dealers in Colleen. Oh, so awful. And I just, it was just anything to get my mind off of the itching and like the pain. It was yeah. so weird. And I didn't like, I did, and like that was before I went to the doctor, you know? Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that it was withdrawals from something. I thought I still had scabies and stuff. Yeah. So like I was constantly doing laundry too. So was it better or worse once you found out you were going through heroin withdrawals? It was better because At I. At least you knew. Yeah, because yeah. then it, in my mind I was like, there's not bugs everywhere. You know? That's that's a calming thing, and that that helped a lot. I actually didn't need to smoke as much anymore because I wasn't as anxious, and I was like, okay, so it's just a drug that I know I'm not gonna ever do again. So at that point, you could just be like, okay, this will pass. I'm not like fucking dying or whatever. Right. Did just you... I don't know what just happened. I don't know either. My friend. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, oh, friend. People not oh, trying to hug. kill us or let's dying. Let's him. Give him a little snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. Uh, can you touch snuggle. his butt? Damn, okay. he's got a flat butt. What? Look at that. Weak. That goes butt? straight down. Dude, my butt. I'm just gonna assume these are super unflattering to keep us from being distracted by each other's butts. I guess. I don't know. Because he... otherwise, no one has a good butt, and that makes me sad. You know who has a great ass, like video game ass? Hmm. Dante from Devil May Cry. Yeah, he does. Oh my god, he's got a great fucking everything. And yeah, then he does. also everyone from Dragon Ball Z apparently <laughs> like in the video game form maybe not Krillin I haven't really checked out his ass <laughs> gross why would you I know oh god the Krillin owned count but yeah so let this be uh, this conversation be a warning to you kids uh, you never know what's in drugs that people give you You'll end up with a mild heroin addiction if you're not careful. Yeah, it's it's bad. It was fucking bad. If you're gonna do drugs, keep it natural. Yeah, Smoke go some weed, do some shrooms. Yeah, and like be safe. Yeah, be, be safe about it. And it's not like it gets boring after a while, because like you can do all kinds of things with weed. You can like make tea and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can or... cook with weed. Yeah. There's so many options. Yeah, and it's so much safer. Like, I remember... Okay, like... Uh, and there's, like, a lot of medical benefits to at least marijuana. And that, that goes without saying now. Because everyone Ooh. knows that shit now. Oh, my God. Okay, well, bye. Yep, just... <laughs> okay, anyways... You just um, ejected that pod. Just 
No. But no, my mom has fibromyalgia, right? Mm -hmm. Which is like little bitty fibers woven for the audience at home who doesn't know. I don't know, so. Oh. Well, there's like, you know, like your nervous system and how intricate that shit is? Yeah, definitely. Imagine little tiny like hairs being woven in and out of those constantly rubbing against your nerves like your pain pain ner receptors and stuff so your body just makes these extra fibers that get all tangled up in your nerves and but, pull and yank on them basically i'm not sure exactly how it happens mm -hmm. and i think it's related to spinal meningitis oh. uh which is what another thing she has um because i'm pretty sure she told me that it was related and it comes with all kinds of horrible like extra shit yeah um but that's like the main one and like fibromyalgia like unless you're active mm -hmm. you feel everything like every little one of those oh so you like have to keep moving yeah so like the most painful times ever is when you're going to try to fall asleep or when you're first Ow. waking up in the morning Oh, fuck no. You have to fight this thing now? Can you stop it? No, you can't stop oh, it. he's too big. Oh, no, he's, he's, oh, no, okay, he kind of slowed him. down a little. Stop him. Give me stop, stop. Give me a little stop, stop, stop. Are, are the tiny limbs the things you're trying to go for? Or is he dead? Is he dead? I think he might have died. I think he did. Oh, he's telling you how to beat it. Shoot it in the back. Shoot it in the back. Oh, Ashley, shoot it in the back. No. Oh. No. Oh, he's got me by the leg. Oh, no. No, no. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, my face. Oh. oh. Next time on Mohawk Gaming. Dude, that was I was already dead. Come on, bro. He didn't even want to eat you. Right? He just wanted to rip me apart. <laughs> I like how he gets his like uh. victory cry. Oh well actually, you know what? Before we end this episode real quick, yes. just so I end that Yeah, and that thought. That that thought. Um so my mom, the the she found out she had fibromyalgia the day that she quit smoking weed. She mm. went to like, well, not the day, but like yeah. that, like because she quit smoking weed, she went to the doctor and the doctor was like, this is so far gone. Like it's so ingrained into your nervous system now. And it's so spread that there's no way you could have known, could not have known that this was happening to you. <laughs> like, was there something in your diet or something, you know, that like you changed? And she's like, the only thing I changed was that I stopped smoking. And he was like... Because it's Texas, and this was, like, 30, 20 years, well, like, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. No, it's about, like, 30 almost, actually, now. Um, yeah, he was, like, yeah, that, he was, like, yeah, even in Texas, that doctor was, like, you should still smoke weed. <laughs> but she didn't, because of legal stuff. Yeah, that and, sucks. But yeah, guys, next time on Moha Gaming, we'll, uh, fight that guy and, and win. <laughs> yeah, he's over there, he's waiting for us. Look, I don't... Well, look at his face. He's frightened. You can't tell under the mask, but oh, he's frightened.